Good morning. It's Wednesday the 24th of February and our reading for today is Mark chapter 2 verses 13 to 22. Once again Jesus went out beside the lake. A large crowd came to him and he began to teach them. As he walked along he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, Jesus told him. And Jesus got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the teachers of the law, who were Pharisees, saw him eating with the sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Now John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting. Some people came and asked Jesus, How is it that John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees are fasting, but yours are not? Jesus answered, how can the guests of the bridegroom fast while he is with them? They cannot, so long as they have him with them. But the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and on that day they will fast. No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment. Otherwise the new piece will pull away from the old, making the tear worse. And no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins. Where should a doctor spend most of their time? Well, some time might be spent with healthy people, helping to prevent disease. But we might reasonably expect most of a doctor's time to be spent with the unhealthy. So it was ludicrous to expect Jesus to spend his time with good people. They were not the people who needed him most, and that was not the reason why he was sent. Of course we could add that the people who somehow thought of themselves as better than their neighbours were probably in denial and probably needed Jesus just as urgently. The Apostle Paul understood that when he wrote, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. When we think of ourselves as better than other people, then spiritually, that might be when we need to visit the doctor. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for coming into the world to save sinners, to save me. Help me to see those who are broken, lost, and written off by others as unworthy, as worthy in your sight. Give me the opportunity and words to point them to you and to your mercy and healing. Amen.